Hello everyone, Big Ton here. Literally, Big Ton. This is the Vox server for live EverQuest. I wanted to try to see if I could try my luck on getting some levels playing on the live server. And there's a few YouTubers that play on the Vox server, so I figured I'd give it a shot as well. So I made an enchanter. I also made a shaman. As well as a necromancer. So if you saw my Project 2002 videos, you might remember Frecro. You might also remember Manello. But Big Ton is the theme of my channel, so I figured I'd name them Enchanter Big Ton. So my Enchanter is Big Ton, and I'm going to get underway here. So first off, it wants me to give this note to the guild leader there. So we will do that. UI elements around a little bit. Go ahead and get our robe and a little tiny sliver of experience. Alright, so we'll go ahead and follow him. All right, so for this guy, it wants me to give it to Spirit Walker. That's probably the Shaman Guildmaster, which is right. Shin, Necro, Monk. Lord Shaman Spirit Walker Ankul Get our shirt Alright Put everybody on to follow on to the Necro I'll eventually make hotkeys so that I can put people on follow with single buttons. Okay, so the necro was back this way, I believe. Right here is the necromancer. Move the UI element. Give him a robe. Then we're going to go back on to follow onto the shaman. I think the shaman might make for a better tank in this arrangement. So we will get everybody invited to group. Frecro invited to group. Big Ton invited to group. Go ahead and accept those invites. We're all in a group now. Now we will go ahead and kill a few enemies. So I'll probably just kill off Right now, in the beginning, it's just melee. Still a few UI things that I'll get set up. So my loot window is where? I don't remember the hotkey for the loot window. Go to keys. Fly. 
Let us see here. It's called Advanced Loot Window, Control L. Okay. So he just didn't have any loot, that's why it didn't pop up. Alright, we'll go ahead and minimize that and find another victim. Eventually, I'll have all the hits and misses and stuff put into these windows here. So, hits mode. We're going to go... This one will be... Me being hit. Number only. It will be my hits as well. Let's see if that works. So we'll grab this rabbit here. And it did not work. We have to always chat here and then do it. So hits mode. Oh wait, no, it's filters that I needed to do. That's right, okay. It's always chat here, but hits mode. Need filter melees. Your hits, filters, melee, your misses. We'll also do our melee you being hit. As well as filters, melee, you being missed. This window here will be melee, others hits, filters, melee, others misses. See how that goes. So we'll have to change the font size, but we can do that at a later time. Okay, we'll just keep killing. So he dropped a Rostiff hide, so we will... I'll take some time to remember how to use this off camera. Right now I'm just looking for free for all. Ask roll. Auto ask roll. That might be it. Not entirely sure. I'll get it figured out by the time I do another episode. We're almost level two. So once I get a little bit of platinum, I'll start by getting some mercenaries and with three characters I should be able to have three mercenaries that way I can do some harder content if I so choose I think I have to Auto roll asks. So I think I have to pick like need greed 
on these, I think. I think each person does. But I know that eventually that loot window will get to the point to where, like, if it's if it has seen that enemy with that drop, it'll just automatically deal with it for you. Oh, uh, looks like the misses need to be hit modes. Other hits, other misses. We'll just do miss only. Don't need all that excess text. One of the things I think overwhelms a lot of people that try to play this game. Based on such an old system that it, like, pretty much tells you everything. As far as, like, you know, what you're doing. So it's like, you know, Big Ton pierces a grove here, you know, instead, like, you would normally have like the damage pop up on the screen and maybe go into some like you know hidden window or something like that which you can kind of do with this but the hits mode on other hits is also needs to be numbers only all right we'll go ahead and keep killing we'll probably get to like around level two or, I guess, maybe three. They just dinged. Now these guys are all... Dark blue. Bon Kai. Oh, wow, some plate... Crude... Fiant stuff already. I need to click it. Ah, I forgot to do something. I think those timers go down and then it'll automatically sort it out. At least I hope that's how it works. So I think the problem was it, it's such a complex system because it manages a lot that it could be a little overwhelming just because bon it's not, Kai. you know, what we've bon been using Kai. for bon years. Bon Kai. So now I'm going to get tons of skill ups because I got three different characters going off, so I should probably maybe disable that notification system. So we will go ahead and actually. Do that off camera. Oh, yep, there it goes. I can minimize these guys' windows, then just let the master loot happen. It's a pretty good system because with one window and just a couple clicks, I can, you know, micromanage exactly where the loot goes. So it's actually a pretty good system. So if I had a plate wearing class, like a SK or something, I already have a pair of gloves for them. So depending on how things go, if I decide to make a Bon Kai. A tank class. I might be able to have a item to go give to him already. One of the things I liked about Live, they added, you know, the random drop element, kind of similar to how like World World of Warcraft did it. All right. Misses is still not hits mode. Other misses, miss only. You being missed, miss only. There we go. All right. We will go kill some more.
So they change so much, and I think that's probably a little off-putting for some of those hardcore people that are like strictly P99 or whatever. I'm okay with the way they changed it because I, I never really stopped playing, so I don't have any large gaps where it's like hard to come back to because I remember these some of these expansions when they came out. If we need to, do the, I wonder, does each person have to, or no one rolls on it? Do I just get to decide? Table free grab. Pull. Actually, I think always greed might just randomly distribute the, la the loot. I think that might be how that works. I think when you're... If it's like a no-drop item, it'll... You'll bon still get the prompt. Bon guy. Like, it'll still say, you know, you're about to loot a no drop, are you sure, or whatever? Bon guy. So, if you wanted to figure out how to change the font size for a specific window, what you do is you... On the window you want to adjust, you're going to set the always chat here option so that when you type, that command goes to that window. So it's just simply font size. And then I usually use five cat font size. So I usually use five for the incoming and outgoing. So always chat here. Chat font size five, right? Yep, five. Okay, and then I just go back to always chat here, and I'll make all the other guys' UIs the same. I find it easier on the eyes when your screen doesn't change very much when you're going between the different windows. And I'm very much into like aesthetics, the way things look, so. Uh, before I even started recording this video, I had spent probably five hours setting up bon this UI. Guy. I mean, it didn't sit here for five hours, but on and off for five hours, I, you know, adjusted a little bit, watched a YouTube video, talked to my roommate, got some to eat, things like that. But over the course of five hours, bon guy. I had made my UI look like this. Once you get it set up on one screen, all you have to do is just do the copy thing and you can copy each one. There's also a way to do it outside the game where you copy the uh, UI INI file. Not entirely sure if that's something oh, people would God. like to see, but I guess if you leave a comment and ask for it, I could make a video showing off how to copy that I and I file. Bon guy. It'll if you copy the I and I file, it'll copy exactly the layout. Like the font colors, the uh, socials, your macros and stuff. Everything will get copied over. Bon guy. Bon guy. So another change that I do is I use the tilty key, the key that's next to the one. That's how I toggle my attack on and off. I think by default a long time ago it used to be Q. But I just hit that so I don't accidentally hit it. 
Nothing like punch trying to punch a merchant in the face and then having him you know guy. one punch you. Bunkai. So I guess if you click on the top here it'll toggle it on everything? Everything on the screen or no? Oh, I see what it's doing. It's actually sorting it. So it's bringing the stuff that's been clicked on already to the top. You have to click set. Yeah, you got to click it each time, I guess. Is there an auto? Maybe that's what this auto ask roll is. Oh, set all the greed. Yeah, I think you have to manually click it each time. I don't know. I'll figure it out. There's actually a few YouTube videos already on, on YouTube that uh, explain or walk you through that a little bit. Now, there's one guy who pl who uh, was playing on Finny, I think, who does a walkthrough for it. He also explains a little bit in in detail how to use the Gina program for getting timers to be on the screen and like how to make the little audio triggers and whatnot. I'll we'll go ahead and get maybe one more level. Might have to fight slightly higher enemies though. Or try to do more fighting and less talking. Bon Kai. Yeah, but I was inspired to do this video due to Cat's Meow and Gerald C17. 717. I watch those guys on YouTube. And I wanted to play on new Agnar server, but after hearing some of what they were talking about, kind of changed my mind. You know, leave it to a few players to just ruin it for everyone. So I figured I could play on here and have a chance to run in, into those guys someday, maybe. So, looking Kai. like it needs to be auto roll, or else only I, only I'm greeting on it. But if that's the case, your master looter automatically asks members you greet after the ask action. Now, I think I'll test this out and see if it will basically randomly give it to somebody because here's another crude. Oh, it's not a crude bracer. Not entirely sure what that is. Oh, it's just a a merchant fodder, I guess. So, if you ever notice a window closing when you're escaping out of bags or something, it's this escape to close option here. So, yeah, I just uh, closed the mercenary window there, which. Yeah, see, now it's like it won't even bring the window up. Which is a little annoying. Yeah, escape to close. 
escape the closers clicked off on that. Oh yeah, see? Escape to close for that. What was that? Control M? Shift M? No. So it doesn't toggle it? That's a little annoying. Make it escape to close. Not it. I uh, can't. I uh, can't remember what it was. Ease by. Yeah, you know what? I'll worry about it later. So the next time you see me make a video on this, I'll probably be like at least closer to level 10 and hopefully fighting in a different area. That way I can give you some variety. Maybe I'll pick up another recording uh, doing the little newbie kind of quests in the main area there. The one that's like past this one. Maybe I'll show you if you don't know where that is. Kind of strange even saying that because the game's so old. It's like, why wouldn't you know where it is? But for any new players, this game's oh, getting... Gosh. Seems to be getting popular again with people like Co Carnage and whatnot doing YouTube videos on it. So, I don't know. Bon guy. I think a lot of people are coming to this to get that Pantheon, Rise of the Falling, kind of, you know, that hype going. I'm pretty, pretty excited for that game, so. But, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I got a little bit of work to do. Going to grind a couple levels. Maybe, uh, finish up the UI. Get the guys their spells for their levels. And hopefully I'll be in a new area. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, leave comments down below. Check the description also. I have links to my social media and Patreon link if you wanted to directly help my channel. I'm still working on a better quality microphone and a webcam. So that'll do it. So I'll see you guys next time.